Weedabix, let's see how much it raises my glucose levels. So it's supposed to be a very good alternative to other breakfast cereals because apparently they're made with whole wheat and therefore provide more fiber and would slow down carbohydrate absorption. But there are also a lot of people who say it's very bad for health because it's a lot of carbohydrates in the morning and so it really raises glucose. So the only way to know is to test it on myself this morning on an empty stomach. Let's go. When you scan the Weetabix, you can see that they are indeed whole grain cereal biscuits and inside there are about 41 grams of carbohydrates. There are also six grams of fiber and seven grams of protein. And what's interesting is that they contain very little added sugar, only three grams, which is much better than most cereals you find in stores. Okay, so it's been about two hours now since I ate my Weetabix on an empty stomach, and we're going to check on my continuous glucose monitor that's on my arm to see how much it has increased my glucose levels. And, and remember that if you're a little bit concerned about your health and you want to be healthier, the best way is really to know exactly what you are eating. That's why I use the Sugar AI app, which can scan any meal that you eat, and it automatically gives you all the nutritional details, the carbohydrates, and the proteins. It tells you if it is healthy or not. It also gives you all the micronutrients and all the vitamins. It finally allows you to know exactly what you are eating, if it is good for you, and the impact it has on your body. And for me, it has completely changed my diet. Here, uh, you can see it raised my glucose by 52 milligrams, which is um, significant especially for the morning. Um, it's quite similar to what I experienced with chocolate cereals, so it's probably healthier because uh, there is less added sugar, but it still has a big impact on blood sugar levels right after waking up, which is not ideal.